Hey guys, if you are using RPCS3 and regularly facing lags in the gameplay, then this video is for you. As you know, RPCS3 completely depends on your processor for converting the PS3 based cores into the PC compatible cores for emulation. So by just merely upgrading the RAM and the graphics card is not going to help you as much as you are thinking. So in this video, I will provide a step by step quick guide to make some tweaks in the settings to get the best out of your processor. But uh, after applying all these steps, if there is no improvement, then you need to really upgrade your processor. So let's see one by one. First of all, go to the browser, type Microsoft Visual C++, then go to the official website of Microsoft.com, download from the latest link, download the x64 version. If I go to device section, you can see this is x64 based processor. So download from this link. Once this is downloaded, just double click on the exe file then click on this checkbox and install the file. Once Microsoft Visual C++ is installed in your home system, now close it and go to the browser again, type ps3update.pup download and then go to the official website of playstation.com, scroll down to the update section, click on update using a computer and then click on this download button. If this link works for you, then well and good. If it doesn't work for you, then you have to download this file from an unofficial website. Once this is downloaded successfully, then you can click on this folder icon to navigate to the download location. You can see this is the .pup file. Now let's open RPCS3, go to the file section, then click on install firmware and then please make sure you are in the right location and select all pup files then select the pup files from here then click on open now you may see this kind of pop up just select yes now you can see this is compiling the ppu modules once the compilation is complete you can close the rpcs3 panel then you need to reopen rpcs3 go to configuration then click on cpu and please make sure both the PPU decoder as well as SPU decoder both are selected as a recompiler LLVM because it makes the game code run faster instead of interpreting in the real time. Once this is done, go to the SPU block size and select as safe. It keeps the game stable and preventing any crashes. And then select the preferred SPU threads as 2. Then click on this enable SPU loop detection. It stops unnecessary calculations making the games run faster. Once this is done, now let's go to GPU section. Under renderer, you can see only OpenGL is available for my computer. This is because I am using a very old computer. If your computer meets the minimum system requirement for RPCS3, then you will see an option says Vulkan. So select Vulkan over here. This is because Vulkan is the fastest renderer. Once this is done, you can select the graphics device from here and then go to shader mode and please make sure this is selected as async with shader interpreter this is because it reduces the in-game lag caused by shader compilation okay now set the number of shader compiled threads to 2 and now your job is done you need to go to audio section now here there is no important things to do just increase the audio buffer duration to 150 milliseconds then Go to the emulator section here under maximum LLVM compile threads select 3 then go to advanced section and here scroll down under maximum number of SPURS threads set 3 at first and see what response your computer gives if uh, everything is ok then set it as 3 otherwise you can change it by 1 set it at 4 and 5 and so on and see which one is working best for your computer and then set it accordingly okay once all these things are done please don't forget to click on apply and save otherwise all the changes will be deleted so this was the complete video please let me know in the comment box if these tweaks has helped you or not thank you for watching the video till the end see you in the next video till then stay safe